You got a hot dog in one hand, you got a beer in the other, you got sunshine, you got baseball. You got a foul ball coming and whack. I think beer is a... Well, you drop, to, you drop the hot dog. You don't drop the beer. You drop the hot dog and you catch the ball. I just think there's a connection between beer and life and baseball just became, you know, was it like a, an addition? Oh, you know, that's a good point. Beer's been around a lot longer than that. Yeah. Best part of working in the early days of Coors Field was people would come in and we'd have a new beer on tap. And they're like, oh, this is so cool. This is great. I can only get it here. And they'd come back for the beer and they'd end up watching baseball, I think. Maybe they came for the baseball and ended up drinking beer, but either way. Sandlot started when they made Coors Field and somebody thought it would be a good idea to put a brewery at Coors Field. And so they envisioned this brewery that would make experimental beers and sell beer um, right on site, and that's where the, the evolution of the Sandlot came from. It was fun. It was fun. It was part of the, the whole growing up of the neighborhood. But though this end of the neighborhood was pretty sketchy. I'd like to think that we were the satellite that made the growth happen. It was interesting, you know, they let us do whatever we wanted as long as it sold. First ones was inspired by Belgian wits. Blue Moon was crafted so that it was sweeter, it was a little bit maltier, it had oats in it, and it had Valencia orange and coriander. It was unfiltered, and it was confusing for people because they were used to beers that were clear filtered. And so when they first came to Coors Field, they were like, I don't know, this is a little, it's a little odd. But once they tried it, like, wow, the orange is so refreshing. The beer tastes great on a 90 degree summer day at Coors Field. I'm gonna drink a lot of this. Really good relationship with a lot of the local brewers. The Breckenridge Brewery, which was Caddy Corner across the street, Great Divide, which was literally three blocks down the road at 22nd and Arapahoe. And there were days where they may come over and watch a couple innings of baseball and have a beer with us. It was fun. And in fact, we even had a beer once upon a time that uh, just had a principle. I went to all the breweries in the neighborhood, you know, they're all my friends, and made a batch of beer called Stolen Pills where some or all of the ingredients we put in the beer, I stole from other breweries. It used to be right in here, more of a, a community, but most of those guys are rich and successful now, and I'm the only one left here that isn't. <laughs> you know, the fans that look through the window and, and they may tap and have you come on out and ask you questions about the brew that you're doing. We brew during games. These people are fun, they're energetic, they're, they're happy to be here, and especially if they're drinking our beer and they're asking questions, it's, it's neat. <laughs>